Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will have another episode of pressure transient analysis. And in this video, I'm going to talk about principle of superposition, All right? So it's one of the most important concept in pressure transient analysis. So everything that we have in practical pressure transient analysis comes from, one of them comes from this principle of superposition. So this is one of the theory. It's very important for us to understand about it. So let's dig in. All right, so long story short, pressure retention analysis is all about fluid flow in porous media. And in fluid flow in porous media, we have this very popular equation in petroleum engineering. And this equation is called pressure diversity equation, okay? So by looking at this, you know, this equation, we know that pressure is, of course, a function of position, location, and time. All right. In particular, this pressure diversity equation is for radial geometry, radial axis. All right. And as, as you notice, this equation is linear in nature. Okay. So of course it's about the pressure, yeah. So by looking at pressure with respect to, you know, this R, the location, it's linear in nature. It's a linear equation. And this is a useful equation. The linearity is very useful because we can use superposition, okay? Basically for linear equation, we can apply principle of superposition. How can we tell, by the way, that this is, is a linear equation? Yeah, you, you see, the pressure, the power applied in the pressure is degree of one. So it's just pressure to the power of one. That's, that's why we, we get linear equation. So if you have P square or P to the power of three, it will not be linear equation. It will be curved. But for p to the power of 1, we will have linear equation. And that's why we can apply superposition, which is very useful. All right. So this is an important statement here. So because the diffusive equation is linear, the principle of superposition may be used to compute solutions for complex boundary conditions using only linear combinations of solutions for relatively simple boundary conditions. All right, so basically we can calculate, we can analyze solutions for complex boundary conditions using combinations, a set of equations, you know, from which we can take the solution and actually the solution, you can make the solution from simple boundary conditions. All right, so from the combinations of numerous simple boundary conditions, you can predict, you can analyze for complex boundary conditions. Okay, and later on we will, I will, I will, I will talk about that. And from this principle of superposition, especially for pressure trends and analysis, we can utilize two methods which are very, very useful. The first one is superposition in, in space. And we will talk about this topic in this particular video. So for by using superposition in space, we can analyze or we can calculate pressure response for multiple wells, as opposed to just one well. And that's the first thing. So we can apply superposition in space, but we can also apply superposition in time. Hopefully we can talk about this later in, in the next episode. So by using superposition in time, all right, we can analyze pressure response for a single well with variable rate, all right? So it should be single well, by the way. Sorry for the typo, all right? So this is for single well, all right? So what is superposition in space? So assume a condition like this. We have well A producing at constant rate 
at flow rate of QA. And not very far away from A, we have another well producing at constant rate of QB. And suppose I want to analyze pressure response felt by point C here. All right, so of course, this location, this point C will be affected, will be influenced by well A and well B. Okay, so anything happens in well A and well B will also influence point C. Actually, if they have connectivity between them. And we also need to know the, the, the distance between well A and point C and well B with point C. And, and the distance are this one, RAC and RBC. All right, by the way, you actually, before understanding principle of superposition, you need to know how to solve this partial differential equation. And I'm not going to talk about that in this particular video. So long story short, this partial differential equation, we can solve that and yeah, using exponential integral method, line source method, you know, we can get solution like this. In this in this in this slide, I show you the solution using exponential integral EI. All right. So here, the first one is here, this one. So pressure response at point C caused by production from well A. All right, denoted this symbol PI minus P at A comma C, the pressure response can be calculated using this formula. Please notice we have, or we use QA there, and then the distance we use RAC. Everything else with, will, be, will be constant. The permeability, the thickness, Formation volume factor, viscosity, you know, total compressibility. Okay. So the production from A, whether it is in production or maybe it's shut in, anything happens in A will influence by C and it will follow this equation. In the same manner, well B will also influence point C and the influence can be quantified using this equation. All right. So we have well A with respect to point C and well B with respect to point C. But you understand that, of course, the influence felt by point C, it's not, you know, it's not individual, I mean, I'm going to say that whatever felt by point C, it should be combination of influence from A and B, all right? And you see, this is actually quite complex. If you use very rigidly everything before principle of superposition, you will be confused. How, how can I analyze point C? All right, but by knowing that diffusivity equation is a linear in nature, by knowing that it's a linear equation, we can apply, you know, superposition, all right? Especially superposition in space. And now by using superposition in space, we can apply this equation. So PI at P, this is the pressure response at, at C, all right? pressure response at C, all right, equals to the summation of pressure response from A caused by A plus pressure response or pressure disturbance caused by well B, okay? And you, you take this equation and you also take that equation, you sum them up, you get this one. It's quite easy, right? And then yes, of course, if you want to know or if you want to calculate the pressure, the exact pressure at location C, you can rearrange the, the equations 
and you will get this one. All right, so you can say that the ultimate result that you want to know is, of course, the pressure profile at C. It's not just pressure response, right? It's not just pressure disturbance. You can say that the ultimate thing that you want to know is, of course, the pressure profile in location C. And this is the final product, the, 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 the pressure profile at location C as a function of time, all right? Here we have time. We maintain the time here because it's still transient phenomena. And you see this, this case, you know, we just assume two wells, but we can expand the assumption. We can generalize the case and we can use this, you know, this mathematical operation, sigma. It means summation of how many wells you have, n wells. All right, so we can read here. So the principle of superposition allows us to extend this equal calculation to obtain the pressure response at any point in an infinite acting reservoir for how many wells? For n wells. It can be 10, 5, 100, even 1,000. Theoretically, you can use that, okay? So for n wells, producing at different rates, doesn't matter, right? Can be different in rates using the exponential integral function solution. All right, so yeah, using this, using this derivation, using this principle of superposition, we can predict pressure at any location, all right, in multiple wells condition. So this is very useful. So the first, initially you just know pressure profile in a certain well, all right? That's the, that's the very basic concept in pressure transient analysis. You know the pressure profile at a single well, you have one well, you want to know pressure profile at that well or surrounding that well, you can use that. That's the very basic. But then you extend the concept, you apply superposition, you apply superposition in space. Now you can have multiple well case and then you can now predict pressure response or pressure profile at any point at any location in your reservoir. All right, so I hope the explanation is clear. I think I think that's all. I think we can call it a day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Angman videos. Thank you.